This guide is designed to help you better understand your academic evaluation. Your academic evaluation is a review of the credits you transfer into Thomas Edison State University. This includes credits earned at regionally accredited institutions, as well as credits earned by exam programs like CLEP and DSST. It also includes professional licenses and certifications and professional and military training that have been evaluated and recommended for credit. Your evaluation shows how many transfer credits can be applied to your degree and what credits you still need to earn to complete your degree. It is an excellent planning tool that helps you map out your degree completion plan. Let's start at the first page of your academic evaluation. Program, located here, identifies your degree program and area of study. Catalog year, located right here, identifies the catalog year you are enrolled under. Your catalog year determines the degree requirements you have to fulfill. If your enrollment lapses, you would need to re-enroll to return, which could change your catalog year, and that could result in different degree requirements. A summary of your evaluation is located here. Credits are measured in semester hours on your evaluation. Credits applied to degree indicates how many transfer credits are being applied to your degree. Credits remaining indicates how many credits you still need in order to complete your degree. Below the summary, you'll find sources. These sources identify the institutions where you earn your transfer credit. Source numbers will appear on your evaluation to show how credits from the institutions you have attended are being applied to your degree program. Your academic evaluation is organized into categories that include general education, the area of study, electives, capstone, and other courses. This shows how many credits are required in each category. Credits earned shows how many credits you have completed in the category. The general education category is broken down into the following sections. Intellectual and practical skills, civic and global leadership, knowledge of human culture, understanding the physical and natural world, and general education electives. This number indicates the credits required in each section. Information on specific course requirements, including minimal grade requirements, is listed here in each section. Some sections include a link with course options that will satisfy the area of the degree. Also included on your evaluation are Thomas Edison ZTC course options. ZTC courses, or Zero Textbook Cost courses, are part of Thomas Edison's ongoing commitment to developing more affordable pathways to your degree by providing courses that have zero associated textbook and learning material costs. Credits earned shows how many credits you have completed in each section. The courses used to complete the requirements of the section are located here. Source indicates where you earn the credit applied to this requirement. You can also see the course number and title, credits applied, grade, and course equivalency at Thomas Edison State University. CC means that it was a community college course. TE means it is a transfer equivalency, as opposed to a Thomas Edison course. You will see completed located here when you have met all the requirements for a section. You will see in progress when you have some of the credits completed, but still need to complete more. Degree requirements that are not yet completed are identified by a long blank line followed by the number of credits needed. To determine which courses you can take to fulfill these requirements, we suggest that you speak with an academic advisor. The other courses section of your evaluation includes courses that have been accepted in transfer but could not be applied towards your degree requirements. Under the notes section, you may see some of the following additional abbreviations. PL stands for planned credits. PR stands for pre-registered and indicates courses that have not yet started. NEW stands for new credit and identifies credits earned on a second degree pursuit with Thomas Edison State University. RI stands for ruled ineligible for this program and cannot be applied to the degree. DUP stands for duplicates other credit and cannot be applied to the degree. DEV stands for developmental or remedial and cannot be applied to the degree. GPA stands for grade point average and indicates that a course could not be used in the degree because it brings the overall GPA below the minimum requirement of 2.0. There may be additional notes indicated on your evaluation, but all notes have a key at the bottom of the evaluation indicating what the note means. Evaluators also add specific note details to the bottom of the evaluation under the Other Courses section, which may have additional information about outstanding transcripts, prior learning reviews, or documentation of currency instructions for specific degree programs. Your academic evaluation is an evolving document that is constantly updated. As you move through your degree program, your progress will be reflected in your evaluation.